Anime NYC was just last week and you can see everybody's in their amazing costume. The place is looking nice. Wait, who, who's that right there? Go, go back a bit. Yeah, that's me right there. So I'm gonna show you guys how I made that costume for dirt cheap. And here's that amazing costume right here. It's just in this bag, pretty anticlimactic, right? So the first thing I started with were the gloves. You can see how they look, how they came out, but they didn't look like this not so long ago. I started this project about the middle of October. So I have about roughly a month in order to do all of this. That's pretty much enough time, right? Wrong. Here you can see me distressing the gloves, adding a whole bunch of cut marks and lines to it using the Dremel and some scissors. After everything was all distressed to how I liked it, I used a little bit of Mod Podge just to seal everything because the fabric would have just absorbed all the paint. So the Mod Podge makes like a, a good layer so the paint could just adhere to properly. And here you see I'm trying to use spray paint, but the spray paint did not work at all. It kind of covered it a little bit, but not as covered as I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be almost pure white so you don't see the red and the black showing through. So I scrapped that whole idea and then just used some sample paint that I got from Home Depot. I didn't get to record it, but the gloves at the end, I just used a little bit of copper gold paint that I had lying around and some black acrylic paint that I got from Dollar Tree and just started blotching it around to get that dirty, kind of disgusting look. Next up were the pants and specifically it was the black part that goes from his knee all the way down to his feet. So I just used a pair of black jeans that I had lying around, cut off from the thigh part, painted, and then that's how we got this. The paint I used was this multi-surface satin paint, which gave it this kind of waxy look, which I like better than just acrylic black paint. This actually made the costume look way, way better. Now we're at the mask. This is the part that makes the whole costume come together really. So before this, I wasn't really seeing the whole vision. I kind of had it in my head, but this made me really see it in person. So you can see how the ears are. They're like hard bendable. So any shape or any pose you want to do with the ears is possible. It was just that Dollar Tree mask that I bought, then cut it a bit so that you could just see only the eyes. There was like a whole part here that covered it and I, I didn't really like that, so I just took that out. And then the green fabric is just hot glued onto it to make it easier to stay. I didn't get to record the part where I actually made these pieces that cover the air, but you can see the seam right there on the inside. It's just one piece of fabric that I folded over, sewed it up into this shape. Then I took a little bit of that extra fabric and I just made this little hood that goes over my head. That black mesh on the front that I got from Dollar Tree also, this was like a pair of stockings or socks. Just cut it, opened it up, and then glued it onto the inside. This also made it look pretty like menacing because it was just so dark. I mean, once the mask came on, you, you couldn't even see my eyes at all. This is how it sounds like when I'm talking with the mask on. And this is what it pretty much looks like with the mask on. So you could just imagine how I was. Next, we have the face mask, another piece that made the whole costume come together. Here's what it looks like on my face. And this is what it sounds like with me talking.
Next up is a pretty big set of items because from that red jacket that I bought, I made several things. I like these pouches that I need to have in the front. I have two of those. And these were made by just taking fabric pieces into like rectangles and just cutting them and sewing them piece to piece and flipping it inside out. These are pretty easy to make. On the inside, you'll see that I stuffed them with cardboard and I use a lot of Mod Podge and hot glue just to make sure it has that stability so I could squeeze it just in order to be able to clip the pouch piece back. I also have my belt that I made just using the pre-existing belt that came with the jacket. And these clips came from a nylon bag that I found. The last piece that I made were these arm bands that were for both arms, but now you can just see how tangled up it is. I'm not even gonna bother untangling that. But these came out pretty nice. The only thing is that they were slipping the first day. They would go from the top of my arm all the way down to my elbow and just fall down. But I figured it out kind of on the second day with some more Velcro and some staples, a lot of staples. From the nylon bag that I bought, I was also able to get these straps to make this whole pouch here. I made it out of some black fabric, the same way I did with the red pouches. I had to make two of these, one for each leg, and it turned out pretty good. Same thing as inside the cardboard. It's just that one of them, I didn't do it so good, so it's flopping around. This one is pretty solid though. But the bigger items like the pants and the shirt, I definitely had to enlist some help. So that's how it turned out. And that's how the cut sleeves look and I'm sure you can see it, it feels itchy. But the whole scarf cape thing that he wears I decided to do in two pieces I'm not sure if that's how it's supposed to be done but that worked out better in my mind to just have this little cape piece that would just hang off the back and has all the cuts and everything on it I just used a piece of velcro on each side to fix it to my shoulders all of the material that I had left in this color and just made it infinity scarf the last item I had to make was the book bag to match. I think the whole outfit wouldn't have been as good without the book bag. I don't know. Maybe it would have been fine, but I just used any scrap fabric that I had, sewed it down the middle. This was the two biggest pieces that I had left, and then I just sewed it onto the bag. This was a pain in the ass, and I had to do this the night before, so you could just imagine. So here's the overall breakdown of the price, and in total, I spent about $60 on this whole costume. Special thanks to everyone that helped with this costume. Thanks to everyone at the convention that wanted to take a picture of me and everyone that loved it. But this was extremely fun to do and hope to see you guys next time. Peace.